day number two in uh, LLC season number two as well. Manipal Tigers taking the Gujarat Giants from JSC Stadium from Ranchi. It was first done a while ago. Parthi Patel of uh, Gujarat Giants won the toss and elected to uh, field first. No surprises there. And the two teams coming up. Manipal Tigers, heavy uh, top four, Chadwick Bolt and Kyle Kutsi, Robin Uttapa, Hamilton Masakatsa as well. Then the all rounders, Pauline Dugandom, Tisra Pereira, Amdo Singh. Those are the all rounders bowling. Harbhajan Singh will be leading the pack with Praveen Kumar. And for good judge Giants, Jack Cullis and Richard Levy, the two South Africans will be opening the batting. Then the big uh, Irish uh, Kevin O'Brien, part number three, Parthi Patel, captain number four. And the bowlers, Suleiman Ben Ishwar and Trent Johnson with the right Embry will be leading the pack. And we'll have Universe boss, pretty sure, as an impact player. That's Robin Uttapa's uh, career for you. Brilliant numbers. A striker of 133 for opening batsmen is really, really good. And partnering Robin is a big West Indian, Chadwick Walton. Again, decent numbers. High score of 99. He must be wanting to get that first elusive 100 in his LLC as well. And uh, another West Indian in the house, Ryan Embrith, the Trinidadian. Played a lot of cricket. An economy underrated for the scene bowler going around in the world. To play with is very good. Best of four for 35. He will be wanting to swing that new ball and get a couple of wickets early doors for the good drug giants umpire says let's play we are number it as a ball in his hand and robin utpapa at the strikers end some swing straight away easily played by robin utpapa that's much better chadwick walton all around the ground classical cow drive and picks up the first boundary of the day Square leg in place, but had no chance. The square leg was in front of square, and uh, Chadwick Walton, all he had to do to get it behind square, all around the ground, very good shot. Outside edge, third man up, an easy boundary. That is what Vladimir cannot do when he has third man up to give any win and pays the price for it. Last ball coming up. Huge appeal, huge appeal, and gives it that look plumb in front. As we said, and as we predicted, some deliveries cannot can keep low. Just back of a length ball just coming in, and he will just try to work on the leg side. Looks like going down the leg side, Maha. But still, there's no room to play that. So the ball kept kept low and low. A chat with ball, the man gone for 17. Tigers lose their first at 24. In beautiful shot. This time, full and goes the distance. The first maximum of the game by Hamilton Masakatsa. Just want to go over the middle for a big six. You can see the fuller length, there's not much spin on the ball. Clumped, leg side, over the rope, six. Second six, oh, I'm sure he knew, he's just going to roll his fingers on it. Swing through the line, still probably the short, shortest boundary there. Goes to the Urka. Has he picked that rear end? Has he picked the man? He has! What a grab! Right in front of the commentary box. He had half an inch to spare. From our viewpoint here, I think he was just probably a centimeter in, and I think he's he's safe. Just the athleticism. What a catch. You do have to go upstairs for that, but he made that look easy. That is a real moment of the match. That will be, yeah, out. On your way, Hamilton Mazakatsa. The danger man who was playing so well. But previously hit a six in the over. Oh, he's distraught. He's gutted. He cannot believe Emirates plucked one out of the sky. Trent Johnson says, unlucky. 37 off 18. You're gone, Hamilton. 66 for two. Now, those leg side. I think he's got plenty of it. He has. What a fluent swing of the bat from Robbie Utapa. Once again, heading straight through the line. Not a lot of spin on offer. 
but got it got enough on it just to put some pressure on set the tone for the over oh it's a beautiful shot really is technically perfect yeah he will be getting the foot down soon he'll get in the back through the ball as well for another cracking six Robbie Utapa who was slow to start but now is playing two maximums don't get any better than that seam up delivery just got enough of it as you said just started opening his shoulders in the last game as Robin takes all the risks Points away, catches the call, catches the call, he's found, Trent Johnson in the deep. Robert Udapa, what have you done? Miss hit. Safe hands by Johnson at mid-wicket. As I said, just hit the stickers and just couldn't get that elevation and hit it out of the middle of the bat. Safe hands and a big wicket now. Uh, Robbie utapa has got to go, played nicely. 23 from 70, 17. Got Chipped. Powerful, that is a lovely shot. There was a shot of a catch, short mid wicket, and absolutely no chance. Bottom hand jab, a couple of skips away from four. Goes again, no timing whatsoever. Oh, what a catch! Trent Johnson, the former Ireland captain. What a grab that is! 49 years young. What a catch, 49. I'm not sure we're doing that at 49. I'm not doing it at 42. I couldn't do it at 32. What a catch. Look at the eyes. Focused and just protects the elbows. That's a really, really special catch. Another wicket here for the Gujarat Giants. Well, Colin de Grondheim's gone. Played nicely for his eight off six with one beautiful boundary. 91 for four. Clean ball. That's the third one for Rajat Badia. Falling like a dream. I said this on my pitching pool. These bowlers need to vary their pace, and that's exactly what Rajat Bhatia is doing. He's not giving the length, the hitting arc for the batsman. He's always making sure variation has been bought and rewarding himself. Katsia gone for 9 of 13. Tigers, 104 for 5. And his variations have always been slow, slow, and the slowest. Uh, great bit of uh, glove work. This is going to be really interesting. Watch Bharti Patel keep his eyes on Amitose's uh, back foot as well. Does Amitose have something behind that inside part of the popping crease? Right, the all rounder Nikhil Chopra. Put your umpire's hat on. Out on or out? Not out. It looks like some seam up deliveries and straight away off the middle of the bat. Two extra cover. Welcome Johnson with the boundary. Seeing the outfield, how wet it's getting with you. Massive hit in the slot and goes a distance. Not so wide and goes a distance. But in the stumps, looking for the Yorker, you get it wrong and uh, the batsman capitalized. Margin of error so small. Having a drive arms is important at this time. Another off cutter goes the distance. Bit of momentum for the Maribal Tigers. Thanks to some lusty hitting by Tessera Pereira. Once again within the stumps. Great bit of striking there by Tessera Pereira. Ball in. It's a great comeback. And the big Irishman taken away for 19 runs. The Yorkers weren't working, but for Amitos, the length wide of the crease angles it in, and the length Amitos departs for six of seven, 125 for six. The Manipal Tigers, nicely played by Tisera Perra. Third man up, car point up. Riyad then be tied to the right thing, coming around the wicket, trying to tuck Tisera Perra up. Tisera keeps its shape and squeezes through the car point. And Pereira says, enough of this leg spin, enough of this flight. Smoke you down the ground. A big powerhouse from Sri Lanka. 31 of 15 was under pressure when he came out, but the way he's just dominated, we all know the power that he has, but he is targeting that short, straight boundary here at Ranchi. Opening those shoulders and a score of 
190 to 200 is still on if he's there at the end of the, the end of the 20 overs. Oh, what a wicket. The danger man Pereira gone. Stayed a bit low, little inside edge. Cross seam. Takes it out of the swinging zone. Pereira wants the ball closer. Stays a little bit low and just hears the death rattle. The one sound you do not want as a batter. Pereira, he threatened. 32 for the man from Sri Lanka. 145 for seven. Oh, tickled off the thigh bat, I think, just down leg side, yeah. Leg buys, they won't care, that's the 150 up. Much needed boundary by the Tigers. Can Trent Johnson close it out, or can Harbajan put one over the ropes? Slow ball, slice straight up in the air. Now then, Richard Levy, normally a safe pair of hands, gobbles it up. Johnson's got a second, Harbajan in and out. Not easy under the night sky. Big, dark background. Levy, reverse cap, making it look, making it look easy. It's Harbajan Singh's got to go. Never really got going. Three for eight, 156 for eight. And down the ground. Doesn't get all of it, but gets enough. First boundary since the, since the 16th over started, so much needed. Oh, that's clever. That's really clever. Last ball the innings. Pravin Kumar, can you knock one into the stands? Slow ball, got to run, must run. They don't. Last ball the innings, don't go for the single. Don't quite understand it. That's a really good job, though. Very good from Roger Patia today. Three for excellent. Okay, match two. Target for the Gujarat Giants is 174 from their 20 overs. They've got plenty of power. It's going to be an exciting run chase. Walks out. Being used as the impact player. I think every, everyone wants to see both these two great players and two legends, and especially Chris Gale. Jack Harris, look at that record. 177 T20 games, 97 is best. By like greater 112, 4,400. Looking to capitalize the power play. You've got Universe Boss on the other side. I think uh, when you talk about Pravin Kumar, he can swing the ball the both ways. That's got to be the mantra. The first delivery, wicket to wicket, bit of swing, take some pace off. The very first delivery. It's timed it really well. Just going away from this girl, and he just timed it. He didn't want to hit hard, just timed the ball. And went through the gap for a four. Dipping on Jacques Carles. Beautifully struck. Talk about a glorious cover drive to get off the mark. Just going down the leg side, work on the leg side. They just got room on the offside. Jack Carles knew that there's no third man. the universe boss for you one bounce into the fence didn't find the middle of the bat but uh, still will run away for a boundary hit through the line that's what we were talking about when you go full a leg player like Jack Harris love to see the ball in fuller length and driving through the middle of four runs. Jacques Callis has an answer for that as well. Great bit of timing off the back foot as well. Diverse production out there in the deep, but goes in wing. We'll get some more runs uh, down towards fine leg as well. We'll get another boundary, hat trick of boundaries. 
Beautiful. Straight drive by Jacques Callis. What a win. You get to 50 for the team. Whatever he's throwing at, he's just going like a tracer bullet this time. Shot outside the off time by Colin. And Chris Gale does what he does. Just like that, again, swings to the next side and bisects that gap. Universe boss on fire. And once again, just back of a length. Big gap outside there in the mid-wicket boundary. As Chris Gale just lets the ball come, hits it to the 45-metre boundary. Who's bad? Chris Gale has bought it, but because at the moment, it's only fours and sixes being the answer. Another seam up delivery from Colin de Gronholm, just back of a length. That's, that's bread and butter for Pascal as he hits the smallest boundary, but that has gone into the stand. When Richard Levy comes out to bat, we'll have to wait and see if he can use it as well as this. Oh, what a catch to Shara Pereira. more agile Mr. Perra. That's a fantastic catch. He's always been a safe fielder. And still carries on, I think. Looking at those pictures, he looks absolutely fine. Entertains us with 38 of 24. Giants loses their first again. Turn into play and play and get those run rate down at the moment. It's bound to face first to Richard Levy. All he had to do was found the gap. It was way outside the Austin. He perfectly did. Isaac did the gap. As he bowls his first off-spinner caught in the boundary by Tom de Gronholm and Levy goes as he toe ends it. The length was there. He was kidding on and bottom of the bat, right at the end there. Call it down Dom has got uh, palms like buckets. He's not going to miss out. Richard Levy, the number three batter for the Giants, gone for five, Giants 80 for two. Full toss this time, Kevin O'Brien, all extra cover, is it a no ball? Looks like, yes, the head down fire gets it and it's going to be a free hit. Just as we were talking about good fielding and good catching, unfortunately, it's a bad bit of fielding there in cover to lose, to let Callis off the hook. Huge appeal, huge appeal, give on. Kevin O'Brien trying to play that sweep shot, probably trying to play a bit, bit too square. As Kevin O'Brien comes in there. Oh, I think that's a good decision. I think that's still they're still clipping leg stump. But just the class, you know, to, to move the mid wicket out to point. Let the batter go across the stumps. Kevin O'Brien goes nine of ten balls. Just outside the off time. Straight over extra cover for six. The protection was leg side, and then Pravin Kumar gives him too much width. Any left hander, think of all the great left handers down the years. What do you want? A bit of width. Well, hooked away leg side. It's a poor ball. It was asking to be hit, and part of the well, didn't get it out of the screws, but got enough of it. 13 done. 124 for three. Short ball. Pull away now, then. It's gone for four, but Jack Callis is on his backside. He's done amazingly well. He's got a 50. Short ball pumped away. That's a bad ball. It's a really good shot, though, from Partey Patel. It was short, there was very little turn on it. Part of just helped himself to another boundary over extra cover. Oh, was close. Robin Uttapa thought for a second that was uh, coming toward the stumps and hit the bat. But in the end, Parthi Patel. Easy boundary down the leg side. Captain of uh, India. This is again Parthi Patel down the ground. One bounce. This is good batting. When he's in his heart, Bharti can be brutal. Shot and caught at uh, car point. Jack Gullis probably would have wanted to go a little squarer, but in the end, finding the field at car point and finishes for 56. Back of a length ball. 
gave the width. It just just slipped off it slightly, straight to backward point. And, uh, and Iwana gets his well-deserved wicket. He's tall away hard. 56 off 42, a fantastic innings by Jack Callis. That's how close the contest is in the air, long on fielder. No, but the shot to the dust. Colin de Grandog made it look so easy. And exactly what he wanted, Ross Taylor. A wicket making things even harder for the good judge Giants. It's never easy running back, hitting the deck hard, just hitting the splice of the bat. Running backwards, never easy judging it over the top over the back of your shoulder but he made it look easy and this fielding from both sides has been fantastic tonight Chirak Kurana gone for two of four Giants 156 for five get, get, yeah. and gone Sean finally feel the part with Ravana you cannot keep him out of the game at the moment this is a pair of probably saw part with Patel again trying to scoop it over finally bowls that off cutter surprised he didn't bowl beforehand but just held in the wicket enough tried to use your pace and Awana takes a simple catch at short fine leg Pati 35 off 26 a fantastic captain's knock but needed to just stay out there and he's gone Pereira gets another Giants tumbling like nine pins from a very comfortable position to win this game all of a sudden looking down the barrel Johnston gone without scoring Giants in trouble 158 for seven another slow did a huge appeal huge appeal and it's a corner Paul Rindaravar the hero for the Manipal Tigers and again a leg cutter skids on straight and Rad Emrit misses all ends up to go for a golden duck knowing that they have to go that is hitting middle halfway up Rad Emrit gone without scoring GG 159 for 8. Who is the call by Rajat? And Sarajit Ladda comes back. Ah! We'll feel that long off doing the right thing, going towards the uh, strikers, and the umpire goes up. And a good bit of feeling as well by Chadwick Walton at long off. Good cricket all round. Flat return, Robin Utappa grabbing it, taking the bills off. And uh, Gujarat Giants got two more deliveries to see what they can do. Last ball coming up. Fantastic the ball again. Picks up with four wicket. Parvind Ramana bowls his three overs, 19 runs, four wickets, and brings his best wickets in LLC for a bowler. For any bowler, he's been corrected, but how well Manipal Tigers have played this game at the 17-16th over mark at the strategic timeout we all thought the Gujarat Giants were cruising on and then comes Sisera Perra and Parvind Ravana push the break and made sure the Tigers winning by 10 runs summary of the game Gujarat Giants won the toss invited Manipal Tigers to bat first they scored 173 for 8 in their allotted 20 overs and Giants in reply only master 160 for 9 and Tigers winning by 10 runs.